Hey guys, this is Braylon again with another president video. Well, I already talked about James Monroe today, so so now I'm going to tell you all about a new president, and his name is Franklin Pierce. Well, here we go. Franklin Pierce, the 14th president of the United States, was born on November 23, 1804, in Hillsborough, New Hampshire. He was a lawyer who became interested in politics at a young age. One time, he was elected to the Democratic Party in 1817. Pierce was also a northerner who did not believe in the abolition of slavery. Many people thought this when he was going to be well known to the North and the South. One time, he won a presidential election and was sworn in a few months later. But unfortunately, this was not a lasting peace. During his presidency, there were many different signs of trouble during the Compromise of 1850. Also, many Northerners thought they were going to have their own happiness and peace. Pierce also tried to buy Cuba from Spain. Northerners feared it would become a slave state. Southerners hoped it would. Spain didn't agree. One time, Pierce came up with a plan to get Spain to join them. This agreement was called the Gadsden Purchase. In 1854, Senator Stephen Douglas passed a law saying that people must allow slavery into new territories. Not only that, but the bill could still say that the North and the South could choose whether to allow slavery or not. In 1856, the Kansas-Nebraska Act was passed and President Pierce signed it. Signing it caused many people to leave the Democratic Party and Pierce to lose a lot of political support. Then in 1859, the slavery issue had come up again, and America was getting closer to civil war. Then Pierce wanted to serve a second term, but the Democrats did not nominate him. For many years, he became interested in politics, but did not run for public office again. After he resigned from office, Pierce returned to his own home in New Hampshire so he could meet with his wife. He died on October 8, 1869.